What's poppin', homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl. And I just want to talk to you about, about what something is going on. Okay, where are all these children? Okay, so right now, um, an article was sent to me um, about eight missing New York City teens. Okay, NYPD searching for these Brooklyn Bronx teens not seen in days. And we're going to go through the, each one and we're going to name who they are. The NYPD is searching for at least eight Brooklyn and Bronx female and male teens between the ages of 14 and 17 reported missing in separate cases, some of whom haven't been seen in several days. Marisol Rivera, she's 14 years old, and she was last seen Sunday at her home in Brownsville in Brooklyn around 11 p.m., police say. She is described as a Hispanic, 5'6", 110 pounds, and last seen wearing all dark clothing. Ashley Mayor Vargas, 16, was last seen Saturday at her residence in the Concord section of, Bron of the Bronx around 11 p.m., police said. She is described as approximately 5'2", 150 pounds, with brown eyes and black hair. She was last seen wearing dark colored clothing as well. Kimberly Rosado, 15, was last seen at her residence in Crown Heights in Brooklyn last Thursday around 2.30 p.m. She is also described as Hispanic, 5'7", 170 pounds, brown, brown eyes, and black hair. She was last seen wearing a gray jacket, black pants, and black and white sneakers. Next. Barry Mohammed, he's 16, was last seen at his home in the Concord section of the Bronx on New Year's Eve around 6 p.m. Okay, he is described as a black male, 5'10", 125 pounds, brown eyes, black hair, and he was last seen wearing gray pants, well, gray sweatpants and a black jacket. Yasmin Moreno. Moreno. 17 was last seen at her residence in the concourse section of the Bronx on Saturday at 1 p.m. Police said she is described as 5'10, I mean, 5 foot tall, 110 pounds, brown eyes, and black hair. She was last seen wearing a black jacket, black pants, and pink blouse, a pink blouse, and white sneakers. Okay, this name is kind of, it's, it, I think it's Aishaliqua. Johnson, 16, was last seen at her residence in the Fordham Manor section of the Bronx on Tuesday, December 29th, around 10 a.m. She is described as a black um, female, approximately 5'6", 160 pounds, thin build with black hair and, and black eyes. Dudley Charles. 15 was last seen at his residence in Flatbush in Brooklyn on Christmas Eve around 3 p.m. He is described as a black male, approximately 5'6", 140 pounds, thin build with black hair and brown and black eyes. Karina Perez, 17, was last seen at her residence in Coney Island in Brooklyn on Sunday, December 27th at 11.30 p.m., police said. She is described as a Hispanic 5'2". 5'2", 110 pounds with black hair and brown eyes. So these are the children that are missing in New York City and they have been missing for over several days. I don't know what's going on, but it's getting really scary out here because if it's the teenagers, it's a certain type of um, look, height and build, okay? Um, and even weights, you know, it's, it's, it's a certain type that's missing. And I'm noticing this. And even with toddlers, the children that are small, that are toddlers that's being taken as well, are the ages from three, four years old. They're small. And as for adults, I also notice that some women who are thin built are being taken as well, being kidnapped. Something is going on. And like I said before, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm not. That's not me. I don't, but I do know there's a dark web and it has, um, you know, things on there like a black market for organs and stuff like that. And the younger you are, the the healthier your heart, your lungs, your whatever's going, whatever they want inside of you. The younger, the younger you are, the better it is. So we have to make sure we make sure. I know we don't want to be 
on top of our teenagers. I'm a mom. And this is why I be so passionate about these type of things. I'm a mother. Okay. And I'm a grandmother. I mean, I sound like it, <laughs> but I'm a grandmother. And I always tell my children, listen, let me know when you get home. Okay. Or, you know, keep in contact because you have to, it's not about being strict. It's, it's not about smothering, but it's so much going on out here. You see these teenagers are missing. Babies are missing. They still looking for the California city boys now, you know, Crystal Lawson, I just did a story about her last night. She's missing. She's been missing for over two weeks. She didn't even come home for Christmas, okay? And her belongings were left behind. Her, her frame was she was five foot tall, five even, and she was maybe like 110 pounds or so, but I said it in my video. So if a big person, a bigger dude is going around snatching people, that size, weight, and height is, is nothing for them. You know, you have to check in. Make sure your kids and your grandchildren are checking in. Toddlers do not need to be outside by themselves. I don't care what type of neighborhood you have. Toddlers are not supposed to be outside by themselves. You come out your house and you sit with them outside. Okay? Come out your house and sit with them outside. That way you know... That way you know they're safe. You got your eye on them. Because I believe children that small should not be outside by themselves. And because you live in a nice community, a gated community, guess what? In that community, there's a creep. They may not look like a creep, but creeps don't look like creeps, okay? So it could be a creep, somebody watching your baby and all that kind of stuff. And that's why with these channel, these 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 family channels, I stopped watching a lot of them because they have their babies in the tub, show exposing their top, you know, their 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 naked skin. Don't do that. Don't do that because you feeding these pedos ammunition to look and keep looking. Oh, <sighs> Mm -mm. absolutely it's just heartbreaking it's really heartbreaking it's really heartbreaking <sighs> mm -mm -mm. but you know what share this on your social media you know these kids their parents must be going through it they i cannot even imagine the sadness, the hurt, the pain that these parents are going through. I cannot even imagine. So I'm I'm talking about this and the person that said it to me, thank you so much, because I didn't even know this was going on. Eight teens are missing in New York City. And it's and it's more. You know what I'm saying? And it's more. Oh Lord. But and you know what? We just had to pray for their safe return. I hope each and every teenager and each and every child return unharmed. I really do. Whoever got these children, these teenagers, please return them back to their families. Don't do that to their family. Please return them back to their families. They don't deserve this. All right, you guys, that's all I have for right now. But um, later on, I'll be back with something else. It just, this is just, oh, I just can't even imagine what the parents are going through. I really can't. All right, later.